A year has passed since we received the first sample of the Kingsong S18. We began to prepare a review for it almost immediately, but after riding the unicycle for some time, I realized that it was not easy to get an opinion about this model in a couple of weeks. The review would turn out to be one-sided and imperfect. At the same time, there were many reviews on YouTube. Someone fell in love with S18 at first sight. Someone hated it with all their hearts. The first batch of S18 had their own problems. We cannot deny this. But the Kingsong company has always been able to admit its mistakes and listen for the feedback from its fans and partners. Thanks to this, Kingsong S18 became the best-selling electric unicycle in the Kingsong line at the end of 2020. What is the Kingsong S18 now? And for whom is it suitable? Let's figure it out. First of all, it's necessary to talk about the competitors. The first electric unicycle with suspension was the InMotion V11. I personally liked it right away. The main thing because it gave the impression of a really quality unicycle. Excellent build and details only confirm my opinion. You can watch the V11 review on the channel. But it was not without problems. V11 has quite poor damage resistance. The front LED light, side pads, lower shock absorber valves fail very quickly under physical influences. And the repair is not cheap. Also, the equipment with the hollow motor did not go smoothly. And due to the poor quality of the first generation bearings, it was necessary to redo the holes in the motor and install wider reinforcement spare parts, which were already more stable. In company, we have called the V11 a great casual cruiser. If you need to get from point A to point B in an urban setting along a route that you know, then this device will suit you perfectly. If you like to ride more aggressively and use different surfaces, then I don't think this is the best choice. This year, Bagode Gotway decided to repeat the success of King Song and release the Hero model. We still do not know much about it, but in the near future, the company will start shipping out the first production samples, and we will definitely review and compare it with the S18. And the wild card in all of these suspension models was the Kingsong S20, which was presented just a month ago, and about which we know even less than about the hero. But the specifications on paper look very intriguing. Perhaps this particular model will help Kingsong take the lead in the category of powerful wheels for aggressive riders. So, why is the Kingsong S18 so unique, and why is it so beloved by people who use it for its intended purpose? I mean, off-road riding. The only major innovation in this model was an unusual suspension system with links and the ability to fit a quality mountain bike air shock absorber, and it became a real deal-breaker for many S18 owners. Having driven more than 2,000 kilometers on this wheel, most of which were in training or racing mode, I can say that at the moment, this is the only wheel that has a truly working progressive suspension, with the possibility of fine-tuning. We were able to prove this at the races in France Electric Games, where the pilot of our team was able to show the fourth time, from more than 80 riders, on a very high-speed off-road track. As far as I remember, he was the only one in the top 30 who did not use the Gotway device. If the track was more aggressive with drops, rocks, and tree roots, then Gotway would not have a chance. To come to this result, in addition to training, we not only had to try a large number of different tires, purchase several alternative shock absorbers and learn how to adjust them correctly, but also ride to the limit of the Kingsong S18's capabilities. The factory limit is 50 km per hour on paper. In reality, it is 48 km per hour, and that speed falls even more with a discharge of the battery. Kingsong made the unicycle very reliable, but in the competition with Godway, which can accelerate to 60 plus without problems and have 100 volt systems, forced the Kingsong riders to squeeze all the juices out of the device, facing the real opportunity for cutoff. But let's move away from the topic of racing. After all, it is a fairly niche use of the device, and 99% of people are using it mostly for fun rides. What can Kingsong S18 offer in this case? First, it gives you the right to make mistakes. In a place where an EUC without a suspension will throw you off the pedals, S18 with a properly tuned suspension will wobble slightly and go on. For people who are worried about knee pain during long trips, the S18 is also an excellent choice. Riding it is totally different from riding on a wheel without suspension, and allows the legs to work in a smoother and more relaxed mode. Due to the body shape and 18-inch tires, it is very stable and comfortable. Almost anyone can stand well on it, and the upper and lower ergonomic side panels allow you to comfortably bind your foot on the pedals. 
Also, the wheel is repairable and cheap to maintain. Any of the outer plastic plates can be unscrewed and detached, which allows you to easily replace it with a new one and continue using the device without any problems. The motherboard of the wheel is a well-tuned, reliable piece, allowing to talk about overall safety. Except in some cases, when EUC had been used in overload mode, one of the most problematic parts is the wheel base frame. If it breaks due to a hard fall or direct impact, you will need to completely disassemble the entire wheel and reassemble it with a new frame to fix it. For whom is the S18 not suitable? If you like high-speed riding on asphalt and want to squeeze the maximum out of the wheel, then King Song is definitely not for you. The company has always tried to find a balance between speed and reliability, so the standard 50 km per hour limit has become the basis of the company's policy. Perhaps something will change with the release of the S20, but so far everything remains so. If you are a very heavy rider, over 90 kg, the suspension and shock absorber system itself, according to our observations, works in ideal modes. If the rider's weight does not exceed 90 kg, the middle ground is 65 to 85 kg. Higher weight produces increased loads on the axle of the motor and batteries, which is also not a positive for the durability of the device and the safety of riding. If you are a fan of long journeys, the design of the S18 wheel is a compromise between elegance and performance of the entire system. The outlines show that the designers were inspired by modern motorcycles with an open frame, but because of this, they had to come up with a complex system for positioning the batteries as well as reducing their volume to 1,110 watt-hours, which gives us a power reserve of about 50 kilometers with a rider weighing around 80 kilograms. The unicycle industry is entering a stage of development when it is no longer enough to fit a larger battery or a more powerful flashlight. The prices of electric unicycle due to the increased prices for components and logistics are growing every year. The user becomes more professional and sophisticated, buying an EUC for two to 3,000 euros. You want to get not a stack of cells in a suitcase with a motor, but a truly progressive and balanced product that will delight you not only with the maximum speed on the straight lines, but also with the quality of components, assembly, and will carry new innovative solutions, adding safety and reliability. Only this will be able to attract new riders, and the entire industry as a whole will benefit from this. What do you think? Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel. We only make high-quality content.